everyone. Uh, welcome to Get Your Play Online. My name is Gracie and today I will be taking you through some trivia. So I really love doing trivia. I think it's a really fun way to uh, to learn some new things and to just have fun. So let's get started. Uh, today the categories that we'll be uh, covering are animals, sports, geography, weather, and food. So, I'm excited to get started. Uh, also, sorry, as I should let you know, um, you will need a pen and a pencil if you want to keep track of your answers. And if you just want to follow along just for the fun of it and not keep score, that's totally fine too. Uh, but if you want to see how many you got right and keep score, then uh, it's great if you just write down the category and write down uh, the number of the question um, so that when I go over the answers, you can mark if you got the question right or not. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just play for fun anyway. Whether or not, whether or not you want to keep score is totally up to you. All right, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over each category's questions and then I'll go over the answers after. So... It'll give you some time to think of the answers if you didn't know it right away. Okay, so the first category is animals. Question number one. How many noses does a slug have? Ooh, how many noses? Interesting. Okay, question number two. Name a mammal that can't jump. There's a few options, so you just have to name one. Okay, now question number three under animals. What is the fastest land animal? So any animal that lives on land. Which one is the fastest? And you can get a bonus point if you know how fast they can run. Okay, question number four. What is the fastest aquatic animal? So an animal that lives in the water. And you can also get a bonus point for this one if you can tell me how fast they go. Don't expect you to actually know, but uh, you might want to just guess and see if you can get the bonus point. Okay, question number five. What was the lifespan of a Tyrannosaurus Rex or a T-Rex? So you probably know it's a type of dinosaur. How long can they live? And it's a little bit of a range, so it doesn't have to be an exact, an exact amount of years because not everyone lives the exact same amount of time. Okay, question number six. Which mammal lives the longest? And bonus point if you can tell me how long, how long that they can live. Okay, question number seven. On a common ladybug, what color are its spots? Don't think too hard about some of these. I think you probably know the answer to some of these questions. Okay, question number eight. How many legs does a lobster have? Okay, question number nine. What do you call a group of giraffes? So, you know, there's different, there's different names for what you call a group of animals like fish. You call them a school of fish, for example. So what do you call a group of giraffes? Okay, question number 10. Which dinosaur had 15 horns? It's kind of a hard one. I don't even know if I can pronounce the answer correctly, but see how we go. 
I'll give you a hint, it is not a T-Rex. Question 11. And this is the last question of the animals section. The question is, are worker bees male or female? Okay, everyone ready to go over the answers? Okay, so under animals, the first question, how many noses does a slug have? The answer is four. Slugs have four noses. That's crazy, we only have one. They must be able to smell really well. Question number two, uh, name a mammal that cannot jump. So there's four possible answers. It could be an elephant, a sloth, a hippo, or a rhino. Question number three. What is the fastest land animal? The answer is a cheetah. And if you can tell me how fast they can run, you get a bonus point. So they can run 70 miles per hour. So if you think about how fast uh, your car goes on a highway, that's how fast a cheetah can go. That is crazy. So if they were next to you and your family on the highway, they could keep up with you. Okay, question number four. The fastest aquatic animal is called the sailfish. And guess how, far, how fast it can swim. 68 miles per hour. So it's almost the same speed as a cheetah. That is so fast. Okay, question number five, the lifespan of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's between 20 and 30 years. Question number six, which mammal lives the longest? It is the bowhead whale, and they can live, you get a bonus point for this one if you know how many years they can live. They can live up to 200 years. Crazy. Humans cannot live that long. That humans can live to be a little over 100, but 200 is super old. Okay, number seven. Uh, on a common ladybug, the color of its spots are black. Question number eight. How many legs does a lobster have? They have 10. And eight of those legs are walking legs, and two of them are larger claw legs. Question number nine. Okay, what do you call a group of giraffes? The answer is a tower. Question 10, which dinosaur had 15 horns? Okay, I'm gonna try to pronounce this. It's the Cosmosur Cosmoceratops. I think I said that right. Cosmoceratops. So I honestly am not super familiar with that type of dinosaur, but props to you if you got the question right. Question 11, are worker bees male or female? The answer is female. All right, so add up your points. You could have gotten, so it was 11 questions. So you could have gotten 14 points if you got all the bonus points too for, um, this, for how fast the cheetah goes, uh, the speed of the sailfish, and how long a bowhead whale can live. All right, next category. Give you a second to add up your points. So the next category that we are doing is sports. But don't worry, even if you're not really into sports, you should still know some of these questions. Okay, the first question. Where did the Olympic Games originate? So what country, and I'll give you a hint. If you're good with geography, it is somewhere in Europe. Okay, question number two. How many rings make up the Olympic rings? The answer is, oh, sorry, I'm not telling you the answers yet. <laughs> okay, so how many rings make up the Olympic rings? And 
You can get a bonus point for this one if you can tell me the colors that are in the Olympic rings. So I'll give you a second. That's a little bit to figure out. So you have to know not just the number, but well, if you want a bonus point, you can tell me the colors. Okay. Thinking hard about those colors. Okay. Next question, number three, in what sport can you get a hole in one? This one's not too hard. Maybe you know someone in your family who likes to play this sport. Maybe you don't, but I think that's not, not one that's not too hard. Okay, number four. In what sport do you use a wooden ball and a mallet? Now this one you might not have played as much, but a hint is that sometimes people will play this in their yards. So it's a game that you would play um, that you can set up on grass. Okay, number five. How big is the diameter of a basketball hoop? So um, as you've probably if you may have learned in school, the diameter is how far across uh, something is. So, um, so for example, this notebook, the diameter is how far across that it measures. All right, so the diameter of a basketball hoop. Oops. I think my kangaroo friend just fell on the floor. Say hello. He came for the animal trivia. All right, so let's go over our answers. So the sports section was a little shorter. Okay, so question number one, where the Olympic Games originated? The answer is Greece. Question number two, how many rings make up the Olympic rings? The answer is five. And if you got the bonus, uh, you would have said that the colors of the Olympic rings are blue, yellow, black, green, and red. Okay, question number three. In what sport can you get a hole in one? The answer is golf. Question number four. In what sport do you use a wooden ball and mallet? The answer is croquet. So this is kind of an old-fashioned game that people would play in in the grass a lot of times. Okay. Question number five, how big is the diameter of a basketball hoop? And the answer is 18 inches. So it's actually pretty wide. So that is more than a foot. Or a foot and a half. Okay, so for sports, you could have gotten, so there's five questions for sports, and you know what, I will give you, I'll give you two bonus points if you could get all of the colors of the Olympic rings. You get one bonus point if you got some of them. And, and those, the answer again for those was blue, yellow, black, green, and red. All right, so you can tally up your points. So you could have gotten a total of seven points if you got the answer, the colors of the Olympic rings. Okay, I'll give you a second to tally those up. And the next section that we are going to uh, do some trivia questions with is geography. So you might have learned a lot about geography in school. You might not have. And if you haven't, then you'll just have more knowledge, which is great. And when you do learn it in school, you'll already be one step ahead. All right. Okay, so let's get started with geography. Question number one. What is the largest ocean on Earth? So remember, there's a few different oceans on Earth, and... They're all very large, but which one is the largest? Okay, question number two. Which two countries share the longest border? 
Now don't overthink this one. A hint, it is closer than you might think. And also if you think about it, if you know your geography well, in certain areas of the world there's lots of little countries so they wouldn't have a big a big border so you have to think about think about some really big countries okay question number three what u.s state houses the city that is the ice cream capital of the world so basically in what state is the ice cream capital of the world And I'll give you a hint, it is in the middle of the country. So it's not on the east coast, it's not on the west coast. Question number four, what is the longest river in the world? And if you've uh, taken history class in school, you've probably heard about this river. And I'll give you a hint that it runs partially through Egypt. Okay, number five. What are the only two US states that can grow coffee commercially? So you might, you might wanna ask an adult for, um, if, you, if you want to ask for help with this question, that is okay, because you probably don't drink coffee. So maybe, maybe if there's an adult around, maybe they can tell you. But they still might not know, but ask a friend. Okay, number six. What letter is not included in any of the 50 U.S. state names? This is a pretty hard one. I wouldn't have gotten this. But, you know, about what one out of 26 options so or I mean you have 26 options so okay all right are we ready ready to go with the geography answers all right so it's just one through six and oh and for for the question about the ice cream capital of the world you can get a bonus point if you can tell me the name of the city, which I would have never gotten this answer. But if you know, then you can get a bonus point. Okay, so question number one on geography. The answer is the Pacific. So it was the question was, what was the largest ocean on Earth? The answer is the Pacific. Okay, number two. Uh, which two countries share the longest border? The answer is the United States and Canada. So that's why I said don't think too hard because it's very close to home. All right, number three. What U.S. state houses the city that is the ice cream capital of the world? The answer is Iowa. So Iowa is in the Midwest and it's near Illinois. And the name of the city that has the ice cream, or that is the ice cream capital, it's called Lamar's. So it's spelled L-E and then a new word, M-A-R-S. Lamar's. I would have never gotten that, so I'm very impressed if anyone knew that. Okay, number four. The longest river in the world is the Nile. So you might have heard about this in history how it goes through Egypt, uh, it also goes through, goes through South Sudan, and a bunch of other, it's very long, it goes through, I don't know all the countries it goes through. <laughs> okay, question number five. What are the only two U.S. states that can grow coffee commercially? The answer is Hawaii and California. So there's a place in Hawaii called Kona, and I know they grow coffee there, so sometimes um, you might get, or your parents might get coffee from Kona. All right, question number six. What letter is not included in any of the 50 U.S. state names? 
and the answer to that is the letter Q. So none of our state names have the letter Q in it or in them. All right, so geography was six questions, and you could have gotten one bonus point. So you could have gotten seven points total uh, if you happen to know the city that is the ice cream capital uh, of the world. All right, so I'll give you a second to tally up your points for geography. And then we have two more categories. The next category is weather. And the category after that is food. So stay tuned. All right, I think you've had time to tally up your points. Let's get started on weather. All right, so weather is going to be a short section. We only have three questions. Okay, first question is uh, stratus, cir cir circus, cumulus, and nimbus are types of what? What are those? Probably learned about this in school. Oh, I almost gave you the answer. Not yet. Question number two. What does a thermometer measure? So a ruler might measure the length of something. What does a thermometer measure? All right, question number three. During a thunderstorm, which comes first, lightning or thunder? I thought this one was really interesting. All right, that was a pretty quick, easy section. So let's get to it. So the answer to number one is clouds. So those are all types of clouds, stratus, cirrus, cumulus, and nimbus. I think it's circus, not cirrus. Anyway, uh, all right, question number two. What does the thermometer measure? The answer is temperature. So if you're not feeling well, uh, an adult might take your temperature but it also measures, since we're talking about weather here, it also measures the temperature outside. So maybe you have a thermometer at your house or maybe on your parents' phone, they can see what the temperature is. All right, question number three, during a thunderstorm, which comes first, lightning or thunder? The answer is both. So sorry, that's kind of a trick question. Uh, so, they occur at approximately the same time, but if we're at a distance from a storm, we'll see lightning before we hear thunder because light travels faster than sound. So, it's a sort of a long answer, uh, but so sometimes you'll see lightning before you hear the thunder, but that's really about um, your distance away from it, but they actually come at about the same time. Okay, so that was three questions. Uh, so tally up your points. So the answers were clouds, temperature, and then both for the third question. All right, next, last but not least, this category is food. Okay, so this is going to be five questions. And the first question is, what food serves as the base for guacamole? So uh, if you've had guacamole with chips, uh, or I don't know, have it on other things, I guess, uh, what food, or basically, what is guacamole made out of? All right, question number two. What food is what food is the most ordered food in America? So um, I guess it's talking about at restaurants. What is the most ordered food? I'll give you a hint. It is not pancakes. Okay. And you might want to think about uh, fast food as well, because I think a lot of this will probably be fast food. Okay, question number three. 
What is the world record for the number of hot dogs eaten in one sitting? Oh my goodness. Uh, the answer, I'm not going to tell you yet. I almost told you again. Okay, question number four. And I'll give you a hint for the hot dogs question. It is a lot of hot dogs. It is more than 30. Okay, question number four. What contains more sugar, strawberries or lemons? Okay, question number five, last but certainly not least. Can you name the largest chocolate manufacturer in the United States? So a company that makes chocolate. Which one is the largest? So maybe think about, um, I don't know, when you go to the store and you see lots of different types of chocolate, which one do you think makes the most chocolate? Or is the largest? I don't know if it's that they make the most, probably, I guess, if they are the largest. Okay. And this one, it's, it's not too hard of an answer. Okay, so let's go over the answers. So, for question number one, what food serves as the base for guacamole? The answer is avocado. Sorry, I wish I had a picture of an avocado for you. Um, okay, number two. What food is the most ordered in America? Before I give you the answer, I will say Chick-fil-A will be on the right track in terms of that type of food. The answer is fried chicken. That is the most ordered food in America. Okay, and it is delicious. Question number three. What is the world record for the number of hot dogs eaten in one sitting? This one's crazy. The answer is 74. I thought that was so crazy. I can't imagine. I mean, I can eat maybe one, maybe two hot dogs. If I was really trying, maybe three. But 74, that is crazy. I would not recommend doing that. That sounds really unhealthy. Okay, question number four. What contains more sugar, strawberries or lemons? Answer is, drum roll, lemons. Lemons contain more sugar, which is funny because to me, strawberries se seem sweeter than lemons. Lemons are sour, but I guess they contain more sugar. Okay, last question. Question number five. Can you name the largest chocolate manufacturer in the United States? The answer to the question is, okay, we'll do a drum roll since this is the last one, Hershey's. So, oh, and for this one, I'll give you a second. You get a bonus point if you can say which state that Hershey's is located in. I'll give you another hint. It is in the eastern area of the United States. Okay, so the answer to the bonus point is Pennsylvania. So if you, it, it definitely you would get an advantage if you live in the east uh, because there is Hershey Park, which is in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and that's uh, a place where you can go and ride rides, and uh, they kind of have a theme around Hershey's chocolate because. Yeah. Anyway, nothing else to say about that. So if you've been there, you've gotten to enjoy that. I think I've been there. I can't remember. Anyway. All right, here we go. So that's it. So if you got all of the bonus questions, so feel free to go add up all of your points. You should have added up each section and you can just add those numbers together. Um, I think, so, originally I was going to say this is out of 30 points, but since there are bonus questions, um, let's see how many bonus questions were there. There were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, so I believe there were 6 bonus questions. 
So I think the most points you can get is 36, pretty sure. So add up all your points. Um, great job, everyone. Uh, it was really fun to do some trivia with you and learn a lot more fun facts. So now you can bring these up to your siblings, your parents, to other people in your life if, if you want to give them a fun fact. So yeah, so we learned a lot. We learned about weather, we learned about food, learned about geography, and most importantly, where the ice cream capital of the world is in La Mars, Iowa. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. Add up your points and let me know in the comments how many points you got if you want to. I'd love to hear. All right, thanks guys. Have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye.